23 magic tricks you can do at home. If you want to be the star at your friend's party or birthday dinner, then you should learn some simple but entertaining magic tricks to impress them with. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll present you with 23 magic tricks you can try all by yourself. Stay until the end to find out about these incredible magic tricks, and also subscribe to our channel for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. Number 23. The Power of 4 Card Trick First, flip the deck over and look at the first 4 cards, saying I'm going to make a prediction. Now cut the deck in half and look at the first 4 cards on the left deck, but don't show anyone but yourself. Now whatever the 4th card was in step 1 will be the prediction you are going to make. Now put the 4 cards back and put the left deck on the right deck. Now separate the decks by putting the top deck on the right and the bottom deck on the left. Number 22. Ice Sugar Cube Write a number on a sugar cube, melt it, but save the number magically. This is more science than magic to be honest, but if both can achieve the same result, then why not? Have someone from the audience pick a number from 1 to 10. Write that number on a sugar cube using a pencil. Pick up the sugar cube and squeeze it against your thumb. The number will get transferred on your thumb. Now drop the sugar cube in a cup of water and allow it to melt. Ask for your volunteer's hand and press your thumb against his or her palm. The number will transfer to the palm. For a magical effect, ask your volunteer to wave their hand over the glass of water to see the number appear on their hands. Number 21. Magic Wand Trick For this trick, you'll need some eraser, a dark colored bottle with an opening, and a wand taller than the bottle. Before the performance, cut the eraser so that it perfectly fits in the mouth of the bottle. Ask a volunteer to examine the bottle as empty and take it back. At this moment, you need to slip the eraser without anybody noticing it. This will require practice of course, but you can do it after a few successful tries. Drop the wand into the bottle. Gently hold the wand and the bottle and turn them upside down slowly. While you perform this, say words of enchantment. Pull on the wand very gently to get a piece of eraser wedged on the opening of the bottle. Remove your hands from the wand. It won't fall out of the bottle as the eraser acts like a stopper. You can remove the wand by giving it a slight push to release the rubber. Number 20. Levitating Matchstick Trick For this trick, you'll need to open one matchbox. In an empty matchbox, upside down and poke the bottom of a matchstick through the middle of the matchbox. It will stick straight up from the center. Lean a second matchstick against the first one so that the tips are touching. Using a third matchstick, light the center of the leaning match. As the stick catches fire, the leaning match should start to rise upwards as if levitating. Blow the flame out and see the leaning match. It's still hanging mid-air. Number 19. Cup Trick To do this trick, first grab three cups that are not see-through. Find three small objects that are identical. Place one of the objects in the middle cup and leave the other two to the side. Now, stack all the cups together, putting the cup with the object in the middle of the stack. Place your stack cups and two objects on the table for the audience to see. One by one, place each cup upside down on the table. Note: Remember the object is in the middle cup. Grab another object and place it on top of the middle cup. Restack the cups and give it a tap. When you lift the cups, your object is passed through the cups. From the starting position, you already have an object in the middle cup. One by one, place each cup upside down against the table. Note. You now have two objects in the middle cup. Place the last object on top of the middle cup and restack the cups. Give it another tap and you have two objects that have gone through the cups. Number 18. Pepper and Water Magic Trick This is an easy magic trick that doesn't need much effort. When someone from the audience puts their finger into the water to separate pepper, nothing happens. When you dip your hands, the pepper separates and magic happens. For the performance, rub a regular soap on your fingers. This is the secret. As you dip your fingers into the cup, the soap will separate from the pepper. Number 17. Classic Card Trick For this trick, ask someone from your audience to pick up one card and remember its color. You take the card back and shuffle it. You'll surprise everyone with the fact that you can still find it. Before starting your performance, divide your cards into black and red. Remember which color you have placed on top. Fan out a few of the cards from the top and ask an audience member to pick a card. Ask them to remember their card. 
then fan out from the bottom of the deck to allow this person to put his or her card back in the deck. Split the deck somewhere in between and place the bottom half on top of the deck to shuffle their cards. If the split isn't exactly in the middle, it won't matter. To find the card that wasn't chosen, look through the deck. The color you are looking for should be only red or black amongst all. Put that card out and ask, is this your card? And win over your audience. Number 16. Guess the age using a calculator. This is a trick for the kids. Ask an adult to hide the screen from everyone and punch in their age. Ask them to multiply the age by 2, then add 1 to it. Multiply the result by 5, multiply that number by 10. Ask the adult to write down the answer in a paper. Look at the number and ignore the last two digits. The number you are left with is the adult's age. Number 15. Toothpick Vanishing For this trick, you'll tell an audience that you'll vanish a toothpick. You'll need some tape and a toothpick. Take a small piece of tape and stick the toothpick on the nail of your thumb so that it can't be seen from the front. Cover the tape while vertical, holding the toothpick so that it looks like you're just holding a toothpick in your hand. Say a magic word or do a hand movement. Now remove your fingers from the tip and open your palm straight and the toothpick will not show. When you do it really fast, it will appear like vanishing. Number 14. Vanishing Pencil Tell your audience that you can move a pencil without touching it once, but by using your mind power. Put the pencil on the table. Hover your hand some 20 centimeters above it. Make a show of using your mind to move the pencil. Make it look challenging at first. Now softly blow on the pencil without making a blowing face. Do it so secretly that no one can tell. The pencil will roll along. For that, talk and distract your audience so that they can't understand you are blowing it. Talk about how you are using your mind while making dramatic faces, or move your hands over the pencil while saying a magic word. Number 13. Which card did you pick? Without moving your mouth, count 20 cards from the top of a pack and set them aside on a table in front of you. This is Pile 2. The other pile left is Pile 1. Offer Pile 1 to the spectator. Ask him or her to pick any card and memorize it while you turn away. Take it back. Slip this card beneath Pile 2. Now place Pile 1 on top of Pile 2. Turn the cards over to face you. Count from the back of the pile until you reach the 21st card. That is your spectator's card. Hold it and ask, is this your card? Number 12. Coin Mind Reading Trick For this trick, tell your audience to pick up one coin amongst many and you will know the exact date written on that coin by reading the volunteer's mind, without seeing which one they picked. Keep all the coins on the table. Then turn your back and ask a spectator to choose one coin from the pile. Tell them to remember the date, keep thinking about it while holding the coin tight in their palms. Then let them put back the coin. Turn around to face your audience again and examine each coin by holding them separately. As you pick the coins, the one that feels the warmest when touched is the coin. Remember the date on it. Then close your eyes, place your hand on your forehead as if you were trying to see something magically. Then say something like, I see the year 2000 or whichever year. Show the right coin to the spectator. Number 11. Pen through paper. Take a piece of paper which is the same width as a bill. Fold the paper in half. Take an exact blade and cut a notch on the Federal Reserve logo. When you show your dollar bill to your spectators, make sure you are keeping your finger on top of the cut so that it hides your secret. Now fold the dollar bill to half. Tuck the bill into the paper and slide the pen into the fold, angle it right through the flap. Thrust the pen through the paper and show your audience how the paper has a hole but the dollar bill is intact. Number 10. Long Sleeve Coin Trick For this trick once again, you'll need a coin and a long sleeve. Hold up the arm vertically, bend at the elbow like you're waving hello. Place the coin into the sleeve carefully so that it sits right at the elbow. You need to practice dropping your hand in a way that the coin slides out of the sleeve and you can catch it. Tell the audience that you can make a coin magically appear in your palm. Show them your empty palm first. Use your free hand to do some magic movements to distract others. As you do so, or say any magical term, drop your palm facing backwards and the coin will slip out of the sleeve right into the palm. Quickly grab it and show everyone the coin that magically appeared. Number 9. Breaking your neck. 
For this cup, you'll need a plastic cup that you can easily dispose of. Place the cup right under your right arm and hold it there by lightly squeezing it. Don't overdo it or it will make some noise. Place your left hand on your neck and pretend to move the neck awkwardly. As you do this, squeeze your right bicep into your body. The pressure will crush the cup, making snapping sounds. Shake your neck slightly and say something like, hmm, now that's better. It will look like you just cracked your neck. Number 8. Vanishing Pencil For this trick, you'll need a pencil and a tabletop. Hold a pencil with both your hands. Let your audience hold it to know that it's an ordinary pencil. While it is concealed behind your fingers, move it towards you in one quick, subtle movement and allow it to fall right off the table into your lap or hide it in your arms. Keep your hands formed as if the pencil is still between them. Make a show of breaking or squashing the pencil. Number 7. Guess the card. Begin with 15 cards out of a regular card deck. Fan the cards out facing away from you and show them to your subject. Tell them to select a card in their mind, but not to touch it or say out loud what it is. Lay the cards out in front of you. Lay out three rows of five cards in vertical rows in front of you. Then pick up each stack of cards one row at a time and ask your subject whether their card is in that group. Narrow the card options down to two. Place the cards in front of you in three rows of five again. But this time, be sure to deal with the cards from left to right. Pick up each pile, one at a time, and ask the subject to identify which pile her card is in. If she chooses the pile on the right, you know that it has to be the top right card. If she chooses the pile on the left or in the center, you know that it must be one of the two cards in that row. You can repeat by narrowing the procedure one more time if the subject's card is on the left or center, or you can decide if you want to have two guesses on selecting her card. And finally, show her the card. Number 6. Magical Coin Trick Grab a cup that is see-through and a coin. Cut a piece of paper that matches the surface you are doing your trick on. Make sure the paper fits tightly around the opening of the cup. Place your cup upside down. Grab the front of the cup with one hand to block the audience from seeing the inside the cup. Place it above the coin and when you snap your fingers, lift your hand away from the cup. The coin disappeared. The magic comes from making it reappear. Place your hand in front of the cup again, snap your fingers once more, and move the cup back to the starting position. You now have a coin that will disappear and reappear with a quick snap. Number 5. Balancing the card Ask someone to balance a playing card on the edge of a cup while holding a coin. No matter how many times they try it, it will never happen. Fill the cup with water close to the top of the cup without having any water spill out. Place the card on the edge of the cup. Using the water tension, you can now place the coin on the card without both objects falling on the table. Number 4. Identify the card. Once more, you'll need a deck of cards for this trick. Shuffle a deck of cards. You can even hand it to your friend to shuffle too. When they return the deck to you, glance at the bottom card. Hold the deck in your hand, and with your pinky finger, slide the bottom card down a bit. Hold the deck in your hand. With your pinky finger, slide the bottom card down a bit. Start pulling cards out from the bottom, being careful not to grab the one you slid down earlier. Hold the deck in a way so that your friend can't see what you're doing. Tell them to say, stop whenever they want. Sometimes they'll make you go through half a deck, and that's okay. When they finally say the magic word, slide out the card you glanced at earlier and give it to them. Now you know what their card is, and they don't think there's any possible way you could. Now instruct them to think about their card. Tell them to really think hard, harder than they've ever thought before. Carefully pull the deck away, leaving their card stuck right in the middle of their forehead, face out. Number 3. Magical Paper Trick This trick will turn anything you want into a gift. To do it, first hold a dollar bill accordion style in thirds. Next, attach one of the paper clips into the front piece of the bill and over the middle piece as well. Very important! The short side of the paper clip should be facing you, and be certain the paper clip is towards the edge of the bill, not over toward the fold. The second paper clip should be attached exactly the same way to the back piece of the bill and should also be in the middle pieces as well. The short side of the paper clip should be facing away from you this time, and the paper clip should be more towards the edge of the bill, not close to the fold. Now, each hold up the end of the bill with one hand and snap it straight. The paper clips will fly up into the air and land linked together. Note: 
The actual link when they snap occurs, but don't reveal that. Number 2. Math Trick Not too many people know about this arithmetic trick, but it will make you seem like a math genius. When 9 is multiplied by any number between 2 and 9, the digits of the answer will always add up to 9. That is the basis for this trick. Ask a single person to select a number between 2 and 9. Ask them to then multiply that number by 9. Ask them to add two digits of the answer. Ask them to subtract 5 from that number. Ask them to assign an alphabet letter to the number based upon A equaling 1, B equaling 2, C equaling 3, and so forth. Tell them to think about a country that begins with that letter, but not to say it out loud. 99.9% .9 of the time, they will choose Denmark. Now tell them to take the second letter of that country's name and think of an animal that begins with that letter, but keep it a secret as well. Pause and appear to be giving this some thought. Then simply say, I don't think Denmark has elephants, except in zoos. Number 1. Spoon Bending with this simple magic trick, show your audience how you can magically bend a spoon using just your hands. It is typically an optical illusion. Hold the handle of the spoon with both hands as if you're putting pressure on the handle. Don't let the thumb wrap the handle. Place the tip of the bowl against the table and pretend to put immense pressure. Push the hands down so that your audience can see the pressure. Allow the spoon to fall on the table but cover it up with your hands so that the audience doesn't see that happening. Now that your magic is established, pretend to straighten the spoon. You can only run your hands over it and lift it up for your audience to witness the miracle. So what did you think of these incredible magic tricks that you can do at home? Let us know what you think in the comments. Also make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.